Hi, my name is Tristan with Plascom Plastics. Today we're going to be touching on the pros and cons of injection molding. Injection molding is the most common way to mold plastic parts. You can see it with electronic plastic pieces. You can see it with plastic containers, um, things for your automobiles, pretty much anywhere where you have a lot of plastic pro products, um, something's going to be injection molded. So the first pro is that injection molding is relatively cheap when you're talking about each uh, unit cost. Now this is because of the efficiency and speed with uh, injection molding. You can reduce your uh, shipping times. Um, you can create bigger loads faster. Uh, you can reduce the employee cost because the injection machines are so efficient and the materials going in are relatively cheap. Now if you're using recycled material, sometimes you can actually bring that cost uh, even, even lower. So each additional, each part, you know, if it's a relatively small part, you're looking at a few cents per unit. So the next pro is that injection molding is incredibly detailed. Uh, you can show little logos, you can show different designs on your product, and it doesn't cost any extra per unit cost to have these uh, extra design features in your product. Because all the molds are you know, identical, all the products are gonna look identical, and this is gonna give you a very professional look to your product. The third upside to injection molding is how expandable it is. So injection molding has been around for over 100 years. Um, it's, not, it's not uncommon by any means. Every country, every state is gonna have an injection molding uh, facility, which means that you can actually produce your products anywhere you want in the world. Whether you wanna produce them in North America or overseas in Asia um, or in Europe, it doesn't really matter. You can produce your products there. This means that you can reduce your freight cost. Because it's not a specialty manufacturing system and you can outsource anywhere you want, you can create your products really close to the end user so you don't have to spend additional cost on freight. Plascon Plastics is one of the leaders in injection molding in terms of sustainability. So we've researched a lot and created a lot of new technologies that go into the injection molding system. So a lot of our business actually doesn't really do with injection molding itself and the manufacturing itself. It actually has to do with uh, licensing. So we license some of our technology that makes injection molding cheaper for the end user. This brings us to the last point of why injection molding is great and that is because there are now ways for us to do it more sustainably. Um, of course as the world transitions from plastics to other better materials, compostable materials, uh, there is still a lot of plastic waste floating around in our oceans and in our recycled facilities. And we have to do something with this plastic one way or another. So a great way is to put it into new products. So now let's move over to the cons. So the first con is that the molds are incredibly expensive to make, right? Because you need to make the molds exactly perfect before you do any sort of manufacturing. Um, it costs a lot to make and usually that is done um, outsourced overseas. Uh, molds are generally made with steel or aluminum and are basically etched out until they're perfect. Now, because they're so expensive between, you know, you know, tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of dollars to make, you need to ensure that the unit cost uh, to, that you're gonna produce is gonna be enough to offset the cost of the mold. So we get a lot of emails um, and inquiries from inventors who create a product and they just want us to injection mold maybe a thousand units, a hundred units of their product. And for this, we actually recommend uh, maybe 3D printing or continue working on their prototypes digitally uh, because to actually make that mold is going to cost you know the user hundred thousand dollars and to make a prototype for that is very expensive now the next negative with injection molding is again with the mold uh, they're very hard to modify so basically you have a big block of steel or aluminum and you're and, and you're etching out the hollow space where that plastic will fill right so if you're going to increase the size of the product that's possible because you can take out more material, you can take out more steel, but if you are decreasing the size of the product, there's nothing really you can do and you have to build another mold from scratch. Um, again, if you're making a fundamental design change with the mold and with the product, you're gonna have to create a new mold from scratch. This can get costly and there's no real flexibility to make a product just to try it out and then change the product, make another product just to try it out. You really gotta you know, be, be set that the product you want to make is exactly how you want to sell it, um, is exactly what consumers want, um, so you can build that mold uh, per some of those specifications. This means that customer research can be pretty difficult. You can't produce the product and show it to the customers and take those fundamental design changes and just whip another product out. You have to do your product research, you have to do your customer research before you even make the product. So it can be very timely and very uh, labor intensive. So let's wrap this up. If you're thinking about injection molding, it is very fast, it's cost effective if you're making a lot of units, 
it's very effective, and you can use sustainable materials or recycled waste. However, you do need to understand that you should be producing 10, 20, 40,000 units at least as a minimum to offset the cost of that mold. And you have to be certain that that mold is exactly how you want it, which means you have to make sure the consumer is really going to like what you're going to produce.